Hello, I'm Mele Kalikimaka, everybody. We are here at the Universal Orlando parking lot. We're gonna go- It's been go a while since we've been here. It has been a while since we've been here. And we're gonna go, we're gonna enjoy the Christmas time at Universal. We're gonna do the Christmas tree scavenger hunt. We're both really excited about that because we love the crew crawl for Mardi Gras. And uh, we're just gonna have a good time. I don't think we, we may not even ride anything. We're just gonna enjoy Christmas time at Universal Studios Orlando. So join us, we're gonna have a great time. Okay, it's really loud right now, but we're waiting for the parade. That's supposed to start any second now. Actually, I think, I think they're clearing the area now for, for the parade. Confetti. I don't know if you can see it, but there's confetti flying. It's like it's snowing confetti. <laughs> what happened? The music stopped.
Mysterious time of the year. Oh, oh, the wind's getting it. Toy and Joy, or, or Yacht and Yaj, depending on which angle you see it at. Kitty store and we are doing the holiday tree hunt and so ooh, number 13 focus. through January 2nd yeah, so it's here through the holiday time and you go to the different locations and they'll stamp it what's different about this than the crew call crawl is that it's both parks and city walk yes so we've got our work cut out for us yeah so we're gonna it's gonna be a fun night I hope that we can like redeem it in city walk so that way they can be our last part as we're leaving the parks <laughs> So, yeah. but we only have a couple of hours. They close Redeem early tonight. Redeem at Park Plaza Holiday Shop, Port of Entry Christmas Shop, or Universal Studios Store City Walk. So okay. yes, we can redeem it there. There we go. So this is the tree for the Hello Kitty slash whatever this store, the Betty Boop Shop. Oh no, I guess it's that one back there. That big one. How foolish of me. <laughs> All right, we have gotten our pass holder magnets for the season. They're already sold out of November. Yeah, they're already uh, sold out the, of no. Not the magnet, sorry, of the button. Yes, so we're gonna go over now to the five and dime and get one. So much confetti all over the ground. That's such littering. All right, here's the one in the five and dime. This is a, amazing. I really like it. It's like a tribute to the old school monsters. I think just a Frankenstein cool. actually. No, it's still old monsters. It looks great. I love it. This is my favorite one so far. Well, just because we've seen two doesn't mean I can't love it. So that's how they clean up the confetti. They solved the problem. Look at Universal being problem solvers. I know. That's a lot of confetti. I will say, a nice thing about Universal is that you get to enjoy their Christmas parade with a regular park ticket. You don't have to go to an after hours event or a Christmas party. That At Disney, you only get the Christmas parade any year, unless it's like Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, if you go to a special party. So. I appreciate that. I agree with you on that. And I think Universal, the only thing that you pay extra for is going to be Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. Other than that, like the Mardi Gras stuff you get to do, yeah. all the Christmas stuff you get to do. So tonight is, at, is also an Orlando Informer night. So they're closing a little bit early. So we only have like an hour and some change to do this, this hunt. Yeah, I don't know that we're going to get it all done today, but we'll try. We are going to try. Hey, 
we miss 100% of the shots we don't take. That's what Michael Scott said. All right, we're in the Universal Studios store. And there is that one. I still like the one in Five and Dime the best so far, but I really like this one a lot too. This is in my top three. Yeah, I think the one in Five and Dime was just kind of unique. So. Yeah. And now we're getting into the New York area where it's, where it's really decorated. Let me look over there. That's so nice. I think you can't see it right now, but there's a big tree. Look at that tree. Alright, now to the tribute store. Smells like a cinnamon broomstick in here. Whoa! You love her? Sorry. You're right. Look at the first room on our bench. Look, they have the vintage ones. I know, that's what I'm saying. And the next room is Earl Squirrels Christmas Curry Curios Museum and Emporium. Yeah. Alright, it looks as if the next room is going to be the Grinch themed. They have the Mount Crumpet. Oh, is it? I feel like this is where they had the Harry Potter room last time. Yeah, no, this definitely looks like it's gonna be. I don't think they're gonna do Harry Potter this year because it's the last room. Hmm. It says Whoville. That's funny. And here's the, the Harry Potter section. Oh, they don't have like the food stuff. Looks so nice. That looks really cool. Again, Universal just is really good over here with the decorations. All right, the next one is right here at the San Francisco Candy Factory. There it is. It's a candy tree. That's cute. I love that Grunwald place is all uh, decorated except for number 12. All right, Mendeblock store, and there it is. I think this is my least favorite one so far. It's not bad. It's just... I like the purple. All right, the final one for Universal Studios is here in SpongeBob Store Pants. And there. Is the one here inside SpongeBob store pants. Believe it or not, it's SpongeBob themed. <laughs> this is also super pretty. And they have the little falling lights. Are those normally here too? Or are those just for okay? Yeah, those lights. Oh, nice. The parade has been over for an hour and they're still cleaning up confetti. Look how magical it looks down Hollywood Boulevard. Alright, first stop in Islands is trading company. Also, look at the decorations here. It's so good. Okay, going into the islands now. Here's one of the trading company. It's pirate themed. It looks, it looks really cool. I really like this one. All right, next stop is the comic book store. Oh, I like, I like that one a lot too. All right, the next one is here in Toon Extra. That's another Betty Boop tree. That's, that's two boops. That's boop boop. We don't need a beat doop. Okay. And this one is here 
and Jurassic Outfitters. I like this one too. It's kind of simple, but I really enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. It's cute. Okay, only two stops left in Islands of Adventure. The next one is All Hallows Eve Fuchi. You do? It's cool. All right, now we're in Seuss Landing, and I love the lights in Seuss Landing. Here's the Lorax. This house is all decorated. Final stop for islands, cats, hats, and things. I feel like this is the tree sponsored by Icy. All right, first stop in City Walk is the pizza. Cool. That's super duper cool. Oh, that's confrontation. Oh, it has all the old rides. That's amazing. Okay, this is like my second favorite one now. That's phenomenal. That's confrontation, Jaws, Back to the Future, Earthquake, and then ET. That's that's great. All right, the final stop for the tree hunt is the Universal Studio Store here in City Walk. There is the one. The Universal Studio Store is very proud of it. Proud of me getting closer to you. But that's it. Let's see that one more time. So you have a choice between this one. And this one, they both say Universal on the front, and on the back they say Holiday Tree. Yeah. Which one do you think? Um, I, I, I'm thinking the That's snowflake, because we don't have any snowflakes for our tree. Alright, well, we, we did it. We completed it. We, we walked the... a lot. <laughs> as Brittany was just telling me, we walked the entirety of Universal, and Islands, and through City Walk in three hours. Yeah. So we were supposed to get here earlier, but there was a little bit of a hiccup at the Apple store, but it's all good. <laughs> it's taken care of. It was resolved. But, but we had a lot to do in a short amount of time. Yeah. We did it. We did it. And it was a great time. So thank you for hanging out with us, for coming along on the Christmas tree hunt. I had a great time. Brittany had a great time. We are pooped. So thank you for, for coming with us. We are steak and potatoes. And we're living our happily ever after. Merry holidays, Christmas season, everybody all of you, especially you.